Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I am here today with Leila at Autodesk in Munich and uh, we're going to talk about the new 2019 version of Revit that is about to release. Um, but first, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself, Leila? Um, I saw that you were an architect, you majored in architecture, but now you work in a big software company. So how did that happen? Yes, that's actually a very good question. I get it asked quite often. So um, I was always a kind of a nerd. I, I'm very much into software and computers. And uh, I worked as an architect for a quite a long time, about uh, 10 years, I guess. But I was always uh, the software guy, girl, yeah. how do you say? <laughs> in the office and um, about three years ago I got the chance to start working for the Autodesk and of course I couldn't say no because it was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, but what, what is it exactly that you do now here at Autodesk? I'm actually a technical specialist, which means that I am presenting our software to the customers. My focus is the BIM software, so it's mm -hmm. mainly about Revit, Nevisworks and the cloud products we have. Mm -hmm. And my main job is to keep um, up to date uh, with the new software and to be able to show what great things you can do with it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the right person to talk to. I hope so. <laughs> Okay, well then let's jump right into it. What are the, some new features in Revit 19 that um, are brand new and that exciting? Yeah, I think the first thing which will jump into your eye when you launch Revit 2019 is that now we have the uh, tab views. So uh, this means um, like in the most Windows software you are now able to see immediately how many views you have open and you can simply switch from one to the other. Ah, okay. Yeah. And uh, can I also drag one of them to like a second screen maybe? Yes, um, absolutely. That's already the second new thing you oh. are mentioning in Revit 2019. So finally we have the support for the multiple screens. Mm -hmm. So you are simply able to grab um, any view and just uh, drag it to a second screen. Cool. Another new thing in Revit 2019 is uh, the fact that we can finally use the OR in the filters. That has okay. been um, a long wish, um, a long term wish um, from the community. So finally, it's here. So uh, we can filter and um, OR. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty handy. Yeah. And are there any improvements as to rendering in Revit? Yes, we have um, a complete new material appearances, so you will have a new, uh, new physical based um, appearance assets uh, which will lead to uh, much better renderings um, when you uh, render them from uh, the Revit. And um, another great thing, talking about renderings in the past, we used to use the camera views in the first line just for the renderings. So basically you would um, create a camera view and then work from, uh, from another 3D or a 2D view. And now you are really able to work from the camera view as well. You are able to remove uh, um, the crop region um, for the first time in the camera view. So you, you are really able to do a lot more with the camera views as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it comes to working in 3D, um, another great thing is that you, now you can use the scope box um, mm -hmm. also in 3D views. Those we are limited to the 2D views in the past. So um, now you can just um, use the scope boxes the same way you use them in the 2D views okay. and define the region you want to see um, in the 3D view as well. Mm -hmm. And are there any other improvements to working in 3D? Yes, another great thing about the 3D views is that now we can finally see the levels in 3D. So uh, that was something that uh, the Revit users have been asking for since a very long time. And finally, we are able uh, to see the levels in 3D and um, that um, enables you to work a lot better and easier in 3D again. Yes. Another uh, thing about views is that now uh, we are finally able to rename them in the project browser simply by uh, slowly double clicking them. Mm -hmm. And um, another great thing is that you can finally say, please don't ask me again uh, whether I want uh, to rename uh, the corresponding 
levels or not. So yeah. I can simply say, please remember the option I choose now and then um, you will be simply able to rename them without getting at the dialog okay. box again. And now a bit maybe more critical question. A lot of people are wondering why um, Revit is not backwards compatible because it's very unhandy when you work in an office and on different computers you have different versions installed and then it's hard to exchange files or families or download families that are uh, saved in a newer version than the one that you're working with. So maybe you can tell us something about the reasons behind that. Yeah, I know that's a very common question actually. Mm -hmm. I was uh, wondering about that myself in the past as I was still working with Revit as an architect. So it's, uh, it's, it's basically quite um, quite simple uh, to explain uh, Revit is, as we all know, a uh, database in behind. Mm -hmm. And, and um, from version to version, this uh, database will change. And uh, of course, um, uh, the columns you have in uh, the database and the rows will change. And uh, suddenly you have more data inside. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's very, very hard um, to make um, this, uh, um, this file format backwards compatible because suddenly you have to remove the data uh, which is available in the new version mm -hmm. from uh, for the old version and um, yeah. a, a, the danger of a data loss is simply too high so this is why unfortunately it's not possible to make it backwards compatible what we always recommend to customers who are really developing content for example yeah. for Revit is to simply work in the oldest version you need to support and you are it's always quite simple to upgrade files but it's not um, possible yeah. to go backwards, backwards unfortunately yeah yeah so I guess we will just have to live with that yeah unfortunately yeah <laughs> Uh, but um, another handy thing which comes with Revit 2019 is the fact that you are able uh, now to see in the Revit file open dialog which mm -hmm. version you are actually about to open. So um, I think we all had um, the problem that once you um, start to open a file it says okay I'm Revit 2016 file I need to upgrade and yeah. so on and uh, that lasts a quite a long time of course you can always um, cancel the update but yeah. now you can even see before uh, you start to open the file which file version it is and you can say um, you you can simply select the right version no matter if they have the hint on the version in the in the file name or not okay and then I think you told me something before about how you can now have two kinds of fillings fill patterns Yes, that's another great thing uh, for which the European users especially have been asking since a quite long time. So now you are able to define two patterns. Uh, basically, um, you can define one pattern for the background, which is usually a solid mm -hmm. color, at least um, in German-speaking okay. countries. And then in the front you define a pattern uh, which is mm -hmm. then overlaid over the solid. Okay. So there are, I think there are quite a lot of use cases that this can be used for. Yeah, for example, to show different functions of uh, some walls. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And as you just mentioned content, is there any new content in the 2019 version? Yes, actually there is quite a lot of new content um, in the 2019, especially for the German-speaking okay. countries. So uh, actually the whole content has been completely remade. Um, and maybe you have heard that Germans are, or the whole German-speaking countries are, are quite specific about the content. <laughs> they have all their standards and rules <laughs> and I think we are, we are famous for that in the world. <laughs> so now we finally have the content which fills all these standards and um, we also have a great new um, Revit sample project uh, which can be loaded with the content as well which really shows all the detailed views and plans and um, and all uh, the building actually which has been completely created with Revit according to our standards and according to uh, the rules we usually use mm -hmm. for planning so are there also any new um, new features for uh, putting dimensions on things? Because I've found that to be quite uh, tricky sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it was especially tricky. I think what you mean is when you have a complex 
object uh, and you make a section and, yes. uh, and then you want um, to dimension the section because rabbit would actually um, snap to uh, the the edges which are uh, not in the section but behind yeah. it yeah so that's uh, that's another thing that uh, works now with Rabbit 2019. Um, now you can really make a section through the complex objects, through sweeps, and uh, um, this, um, these are quite often used for the bridge design, for example. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, now when you make a section, you are really able uh, to snap to the points and the edges which are on uh, the section line and make a very mm -hmm. exact uh, dimension. Okay. <laughs> As you've just mentioned bridges, they are often free form, so and so with that there comes a lot of difficulties in uh, modeling. So are there any improvements in that area? Well, there are special improvements um, for rebar because it's 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 it gets quite complex to uh, to reinforce such complex objects. So uh, we have again, like in the last couple of versions, um, improved the rebar um, so that uh, we are able to recognize complex shapes and uh, simply to give users uh, the ability to reinforce complex objects. A lot easier. Okay. Now, from this, it comes to my mind that there were also some improvements about um, steel working. I think I saw. Yeah, there are quite a lot of um, improvements about the steel connections, uh, which came to Revit a couple of versions ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, if you use the steel connections in Revit 2018. Um, you may have experienced that they are a great tool, but that you were limited to the connections that were there. Mm -hmm. And now you are able to create the custom connections as well. You are okay. able to, to schedule them, um, including the bolts and all the stuff mm -hmm. they bring with them. So they are now really a great tool to do some steel detailing really inside of Revit. And of course, they keep being compatible with the advanced steel as well. So that was it for today for the interview. I hope you got a good look into the new version. I am very excited to try out all the new features and thank you Leila for taking the time to meet me. You are very welcome. It was a great fun also for me and um, it was a pleasure having you here. <laughs> and I think it was a first for both of us yes, to do absolutely. this kind of interview. <laughs> so I hope you liked it. And if you did, consider subscribing to my channel. I do uh, lots of Revit tutorials every Monday. So see you next Monday and goodbye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>